Today we're changing oil in our 98 Honda Accord. And yes, this video clip is real. Don't let that happen to you. Change your own oil and save yourself some money in the process. To get started, we pulled the oil cap off of the 2.3 liter four cylinder here so that the engine oil can drain out a little faster. And with this, we have the car safely jacked up with jack stands underneath and a jack as an emergency backup. Everyone's car will be a little different, but in our case, this was a 17 millimeter oil drain plug. So we proceeded to break this loose and then let the oil drain out. As a cautionary note, do not try to do an oil change while your engine is hot. Let it cool for a while so you do not get burned by the oil itself. Once the oil is all drained out, we put the oil drain plug back in and tightened it down. We went to our local Honda dealer and picked up some OEM oil filters and a new drain plug which we didn't show in the video but turned out to be the wrong size so we ended up reusing the original one. Something we didn't reuse is the oil drain plug crush washer and if all possible you want to go ahead and get a new one of these. This is specifically designed to slightly crush and seal against the oil pan as you tighten down the oil pan drain plug. In keeping with good seals, make sure you add a little oil to the new gasket on the oil filter here. And this is also a great time to mention the old oil filter that's coming off in the video right now. Make 100% sure that the gasket from this filter is not stuck onto the engine block after you remove the old oil filter. As if you end up double stacking the two oil filter gaskets on top of each other, they will not seal. And there's a very good chance the engine will pump all your brand new oil all over the ground. I definitely recommend the gloves here because try as you might to keep yourself clean, you will possibly end up getting oil all over your hands here. When installing the new oil filter, every car manufacturer has slightly different specifications, so definitely check your torque specifications for your oil filter. In our case, this only needed to be hand tight. I always recommend using a funnel just to save oil from going all over the engine and engine bay. And take your time pouring this in as the oil will glug if that's a word and proceed to not pour smoothly and pour oil all over your engine. So every car is a little different and check your owner's manual but we're going to check the oil here. And you always want to start with giving it a clean wipe so that you give time to let the engine oil settle in the engine. Then you want to pull it back out and actually get a good look to see where your lines are at. And in this case, you want to be between the two dots. Looks like we're just a hair over. Where are we at with that under. one? Under that one dot. So we're going to go ahead and add a little oil. But overall, just make sure you check your owner's manual when you're when you're doing this.